Well, we are learning more about a father's heroism in a fire that claimed two lives in Arlington. Yesterday morning's fire on Emerson Street killed a mother and her seven year old daughter. But if not for a father's heroism, there could be one more victim here. Diane Cho spoke with the children's grandfather today. She's live outside that home where investigators continue searching for clues. Diane. Well, Allison, fire investigators have been back out here at the home trying to figure out exactly what caused this deadly fire. But as you can see right now, neighbors have been stopping by here at the end of the street, leaving flowers and stuffed animals, creating a makeshift memorial for seven year old Emily and her mother. As fire investigators sift through the home, searching for answers, James White is left picking up the pieces after his life has been ripped apart. I can't figure out why I'm here. He says his youngest granddaughter, seven year old Emily, was sleeping with her mother, Mary Barks, on the second floor when the fire broke out early Tuesday morning. But the flames spread quickly up the stairs. My granddaughter actually, I'm hoping she never woke up to deal with it because that's horrible. He says his son-in-law woke up to the crackling sounds of the fire downstairs. He got out of the house and used a ladder, breaking a window on the second floor to save the couple's 11-year-old daughter, who was also still upstairs. She said she couldn't even see her mother. So much smoke. And she could hear her father, father hollering at the window. Jump. Get out of the house. She suffered first degree burns and is now at Children's Hospital. He says his son in law tried to use a ladder to go back to save his wife and youngest child, but the flames started shooting out of the window below, making it impossible for him to get to them. It happened so fast. Loved ones describe Barks as a hard working mother who always made her family her first priority. Before oh, White's sure. wife passed away earlier this year, he says it was Emily he grew closest to, and now he says he's struggling to make sense of what happened happened on that tragic day. My granddaughter was my biggest help. An account has been set up on GoFundMe.com to help the family get back on their feet. In the meantime, fire investigators tell us they will be back here at the scene tomorrow to continue their investigation. Reporting live from Arlington, Diane Show, ABC 7 News. Mm, so sad, Diane. Thank you. Arlington firefighters, meanwhile, have said that home did not have working smoke detectors. So today in Prince George's County, firefighters went door to door. They are making sure that homes there are protected. In all, they had more than 1,000 smoke detectors available. Remember, you can request a smoke detector from your local fire department. We've compiled a link to all of the local fire departments right on our website. So just go to WJLA.com.